Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. First of all, I want to thanks to all software engineering from Tesla that finally hear us and add those buttons that we missed so much in the last updates. So let's go here. First of all, I want to tell you that Tesla come with a new update yesterday, 2022 12 3 2 and in this update we finally have additional button for bar customization so that mean we finally have down here the heating seats for you and the passenger also on the right side also they add here the possibility to customize this button this area right here so for example if you would hold the the finger here for a few seconds you will see that you can customize you can take it out those buttons from here just like that uh, for wipers defrosting rear defrosting and even seat heating and you can also leave it empty down here or you can actually add it down here as it was before and it's just perfect like this it's much more easier another thing very important for me that I want to have it here close to my uh my uh, finger is this uh defrosting for the windows also the wipers and also the rear defrosting uh, that i want to have it on the right side and this is just so much better so much better while you're driving you don't want to take the time to to press it to go into menu and then to go down here it's much more easier to just press this button and uh turn on the heating on the seats or it's just much much easier to put your finger here and uh, put it to the maximum and then defrost the windows it's it's much more easy the only thing that i wish they should add also in this update is the fact that for example right now it's on yes and you have to go to close it from there for example you want to turn it on you turn it on like that you defrost the windows if you press one more time it's go to maximum but now if you want to close it completely the problem is that you have to go again in the menu and again press here to close it it was really nice if you can do it somehow from here for example you turn it on and then if you tap it two times it will completely close or I don't know something like that it will it was really much nicer but yeah anyway it's still still much better as before another update this was the most important and I think it's really really helpful the another update is the fact that Tesla bring Disney plus in Tesla tether and now support you can also launch it from the title and you can watch it then the child lock you can also child lock for single rear door so you can choose which door you want to lock it then you have the additional mobile app controller so you have dog mode and camp mode can be now enabled from Tesla app so this is also very useful uh, and then we have a new language and I think this is Turkish language so this is with update very very happy with these new updates with these those new controllers button down here so that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you soon in the next video bye guys